some things you just have to do for dramatic effect. Um, this is take two of my very first YouTube unplanned like haul thing because I've lived here for like five years and I've consistently gotten amazing like swag bags from the various discount dollar 99 cent stores in my area and today was especially fruitful so considering I'm at like a super crossroads in my life I thought why not see how insane I looked trying to film a video of myself and I definitely look and feel like a psychopath watching myself um, talk into my iPad, which I love very much. What would I do without it during these corn times? Okay, so, oh, sorry, I forgot to put on the scarf. I have to like add the accent to my outfit. If it weren't, because I can't wear what I was wearing outside because like I would just look like trash and like fat. So, <laughs> anyway, I gotta cover everything up with this amazing print jacket that I love so much. Okay, so, um, 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 also, I've like never edited video or anything and I think I'm too lazy to do that, so you're just gonna see this all in one take. Okay. Hi mom. So, <laughs> the first place I stumbled upon was in Borough Park on, I believe, like 13th Avenue and like 43rd Street, or no, 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 it wasn't 13th Avenue, it was like New Utrecht or Fort Hamilton, I think Fort Hamilton Parkway and 43rd-ish, and, and they finally reopened, I'm so excited, but um, it looked like they have different merchandise than they did before coronavirus, which is fine, um, like the store didn't seem as big but it had some top-notch, like, uh, made in Japan kind of Daiso-ish um, merchandise. So that was exciting and I'm not complaining. So let me show you what I got there. In case you are ever touring Brooklyn, South Brooklyn in these times, um, you should know that this is like the best underrated hotspot for Kawaii, necessary, craft making, life, skills, like you name it, area to buy things to help those subjects. Anyway, that literally made no sense and I would, like, would edit that out, but I don't know how to do that. So, yeah, I told you this is, like, going to be annoying to watch. Anyway, for those that really love just like finding super affordable like useful um small things <laughs> when you're out and about and are always looking for ways to maximize your space i highly recommend hitting me up i can take you shopping but anyway first things first look at this cute like light bluish whitish box that I'm gonna hang on my wall to put my various <laughs> yarn twine supplies that I'm currently using to make bags and as I said in my previous un also edited video <laughs> um, where I live is so small that now I have no space um, except for my walls what's left of them so Gotta start stacking my hoard. Got, um, in lieu of that, this, um, cute little display case that I can either turn like this, whoa, <laughs> to use as like a riser or, um, somehow adhese to the wall and like put some lightweight books or something. But I love a good clear, sh like, thin shelf because it doesn't take up as much room and you don't feel like you're being invaded on by all four corners. How cute. Need no words. It's 
says, want to drink. So cute. I should have showed Burrow this on the way home, but I forgot. By the way, Burrow is my street cat. I love her. She's my daughter. And yeah, she's super chill. And I'm currently writing a book about her. There's me. You know what? I think I'm just gonna post the other one. Because I don't think I'm cut out for this YouTube business when I don't really want to. Because I'm having to talk like this the whole time. And I seriously look and feel more insane than I normally do. Like, who does this? Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. If I do ever edit this and post something again, I have to make sure to include in the other video that I meant to shout out Mita because this reminds me of the Russian grocery store and the candy I got when you took me there that one time. Woohoo! Okay, love you. Bye. <laughs>